Where do you want me to sit? Okay, we'll do a sofa together chair. Welcome. Let's get intimate. Yeah, so... With our uh, conversation. Yeah, in this, we, the tradition at Comic-Con is the last one, is we just do a really heavy therapy session. We want tears, we want crying, then some laughter, then some more tears, then like whatever you're feeling. You're probably way cheaper than my therapist, so it's all good. Yeah, but I'm also way worse. So. <laughs> You know, the progress you make today won't be great. We all went through COVID, so you know. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. How, and, uh, how was your pandemic? My pandemic was great, actually. I cooked a lot, and I traveled a lot from my kitchen to my laundry machine. Got to get your steps up. And that's it, <laughs> like everybody else's. Did you, did you ex experiment with any new cooking styles? Any new I recipes? made a lot of Greek food, as I am a Greek woman. Um, and I learned how to garden. Did you? I did. There's the one skill All very boring learn. things, people, I know. They're waiting for the exciting stuff. You say that, but my brain's going, please tell me how to keep a plant alive, because it's impossible. You buy a snake plant. What? The nickname for it is mother-in-law's tongue, because okay. it never dies. <laughs> it's true. It's that thing. There you go. And there, so everyone who was here for the plant-based stuff, I told you I'd get it in, so there you go. Um, yeah, where did you spend your last pandemic? Uh, I hope there's not another one. Um, the only pandemic that we've all been alive for, I spent it in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Oh, because you are... Canadian, yes. But you're Greek, but you're Greek-Canadian, is that That's it? it. My parents were born in, in Greece, yeah. Uh, do you, are you fluent in Greek? I'm a step above mediocre. That's, do you know what, for me that is fluent. Like, okay. you can say anything and be like, yeah, 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 no idea, no idea. <laughs> it's about as good as my French, which is also a step above mediocre. So thank you all for being patient with me today when I tried to speak French to uh, those of you I've met today. Yeah. 2020, when all of us realized that we had to stay home for two years, so we didn't get a rap party or anything, and they're like, everybody go home, there's a pandemic on the rise. <laughs> So I was like, wait a minute, I just spent the past eight years of my life shooting a uh, TV show about a pandemic, and then we all stepped into a real life one. So, you know that saying, art imitates life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what happened. Did yeah. you have a tick list of things we got right, things we got wrong? <laughs> Take notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird, I wasn't, because obviously everyone likes to want to do I like to, I like to really not talk about it for at least five minutes, so they're like, when will you mention the show? Okay. But you, you've nailed it now, you've gone so professionally into it. It's not my first rodeo. I know. Like, it's not mine, but I just like to be awful. So okay. there you go. Um, eight years. Yes. That's a long time to have a job. I don't think I've ever had a job for eight years. Most of my 20s and early 30s, but I just aged myself. Damn. But yeah, it was a great time. It was so exciting to play Octavia. She was a badass, right? Super fun. No That's fans, it. obviously. No Zero. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Honestly, there's so many of these guys have been waiting here for about half an hour, just like, I gotta be near the front. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna walk you to the taxi afterwards and trust any of them. I do, you're all very lovely. Have you been enjoying Belgium? I've been enjoying Belgium very much, thank you for asking. The people here are so kind, you're all so awesome. Um, and the chocolate, I must say, oh my God. best I ever had. So good, isn't it? Do you find that, uh, like, because TV is that now where it's everywhere. Like, most countries, the big shows, they're everywhere. Do you find that hard to get around your head, or do you love that sort of thing? Well, when I did a con in Paris, I know I've seen a few of you that uh, visited me there, and I, for the first time I heard my voice dubbed over en français, and it sounds nothing like me. I don't know what actress they hired to dub over Octavia's voice, because Octavia talks like this. And I found the woman they hired talks like this. And I'm like, well, <laughs> chopping people's heads off. Sounding like this. So it's like just really perky about it. I know. I love this. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't make him Mickey Mouse. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't have a, a say in it. So yeah. Um, if you had to dub yourself in French, oh god, would, would that be? Would you still go with that voice? Could you still do that? Which voice are you talking about? This one, yeah. Could you? How would that sound in French from you? Je suis Octavia. Je ne comprends pas. <laughs> Je ne parle pas français. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying you should just 
if, if you do have another lockdown, spend the entire lockdown dubbing your own French version. But I'm saying that'd be a great Duolingo project, actually. Maybe in my next life. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I'm never doing that. Uh, have <laughs> Basically. You, yeah. Have you, have you always uh, wanted to act, or was that something you fell into? I always love finding people's origin stories. Say that one more time, your accent's thick too. Yeah, my accent is very <laughs> northern English, so... Je ne comprends pas. Yeah. Um, have you always wanted to act? Was that something you'd always wanted to do, or was that something you fell into? No, um, I actually went to um, post-secondary for television broadcast journalism. Wow. I used to be a news reporter. Wow. Yep. Um, because my European parents wanted me to get a real job, um, and then I realized I would just have to tell people bad news every day, so I quit. Wow. And um, I got noticed playing drums, because I've been a drummer for 16 years. Yep. And I got scouted by an agent, and say la vie. That is, that is quite the CV. Your LinkedIn is through the roof. <laughs> um, how did you get into the drums? Was that something you wanted to do as well? Or was that just something? Well, because my European parents wanted me to play something elegant, like <laughs> piano. And so when I was a waitress in college, I saved up all my money and I bought a drum kit to piss off my mother. And it worked. Amazing. <laughs> I'm getting a sense a lot of your career decisions are like, yes. what do you want, mom? Exact opposite. Exactly. Oh, that's amazing. There's a reason why I play a rebel on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, art imitating life. That's brilliant. Um, do you still play the drums? Of course I do. Oh, I generally wish I could go, because we have a drum kit. <laughs> <laughs> Voila! Yeah. No, we don't have a drum kit, guys, sorry. But if we did, I'd play it for you. You would absolutely boss it. In a skirt. Yeah, I'd have to figure that one out. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> have, you, have, you ever, have you ever been in a band? Like, I've been in lots of bands, yeah. Like, what was your, what was your, were you in a high school band? What was your first band? Oh, my first band? Ugh, just like childhood stuff, but cool story. Um, the Hundred shot in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and all the TV shows in town created their own bands. So there was the Hundred Band, there was the Arrow Band, um, and some Supergirl, and um, the Hundred Band won the competition. Sure, it was, I love the bands. Yes. Oh, wow. It was for charity. It was a really good thing, but um, it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to make you sing it, but what was your song? What was it called? Um, oh, we did lots. Lots of classic rock. Leonard Skinner oh, and goodness. stuff like that. Yeah? Oh, 80s, 80s, 80s and 70s rock. Yeah. Time. So when we do a lot of outdoor st stuff, um, outdoor scenes, um, it takes forever because we're often battling the weather, right? But it really worked well for the post-apocalyptic vibe and yeah, tone yeah. of the show. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Um, I am aware as well, you have a lot of fans here, so I am going to open the floor to questions. We do have a microphone over there, so if you do have a question, Put your hand, otherwise I will talk to you for all the time and go, ah, let them speak. Um, if you've got a question, there's already one here. Like I say, just raise your hands and we'll find there's one there, one there. Okay, we'll come down the line. Genuinely, otherwise I would take up all the time and they would hate me. And I, I need them to love me today. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know really how to say it. What was your feeling when you were, um, Filming the part as Blood Reina down in the bunker? Well, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Um, there was a lot of interesting subject lines on the hundred, such as cannibalism and um, very dark subject matters. Um, I kind of had to put myself in a really dark place to be able to pull off the performance the way I did. Um, yeah, I wish Octavia smiled more. I don't think she smiled once in that entire series of 100 episodes. But um, yeah, it was, it's really interesting to really put yourself in that, in that mindset um, to make sure I, I make the fans happy um, with pulling off Octavia and all the various um, emotions that she, she had to go through. Octavia was a crazy bitch, let's face it. Yeah. Do you, do you find it hard when you are playing those sort of dark roles? Does that come home with you or you're really good at switching it off? Like I said, circling back to uh, the beginning of our conversation, yeah. you're cheaper than my therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And we'll not ask any more. Uh, there we go. We had some questions down here. So yeah, Thomas is just coming up with the microphone now. He's an absolute professional. Uh, hello. Uh, my question was, um, at first I wanted to ask you which uh, season was your favorite and why? And if you have any projects for the future? I just finished filming a movie um, and I think you will all enjoy it because it's a comedy. So I'm going to make you all laugh your asses off when you see it. It should be out next year, but I can't tell you the title. It's a secret. Um, I forget the first part of the question. Uh, oh, which season was my favorite? Yes. Um, I'm going to say season five. Um, when Sky Ripa um, began to make her transition to Blood Raina, definitely. Um, because I really enjoy action scenes and I got to fight train a lot and they gave me a horse. And who, what little girl didn't want to ride a horse when she grew up, right? And so they gave me that opportunity, so it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy stunt work and, and learning the, um, the math of the fight choreography and using a sword, which is a useless skill I have now, but hey. Give, give it into the pandemic and you'll <laughs> absolutely be fine. <laughs> Um, how was it learning the fighting stuff? It was great, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was an amazing stunt team we had on the 100. Lots of amazing martial artists um, that that taught me the ropes. And it was really interesting. It's just another element to add um, to the character. I did a ton of my own stunts on that show. My only rule is don't light me on fire. Somebody else can do that. I don't do fire stunts. <laughs> um, yeah, it was amazing. Thank Absolutely. you for your question.